charge a Leyden jar, we either have to put electrons into the inner cup or take them out of the inner cup or put electrons into the outer foil or take them out of the outer foil. With the film canister laden jar, we're either putting electrons in, taking electrons out of the salt water, or we're putting them in or taking them out of the aluminum foil around the outside. Whenever we say a laden jar is positively charged, we mean the inner foil or the salt water is positively charged. That happens by taking electrons out of the inner foil or the inner salt water. If the electron is negatively, if the, ele if the Leyden jar is negatively charged, that means we put electrons into the inner foil or the salt water. So it's the electrons that do the moving. No protons do the moving. One of the best ways to charge the Leyden jar is using our electrophorus. I rub the foam board with my rabbit fur, making the board negatively charged. I take my pie pan, set it on top, and when I touch the rim of the pie pan, my finger will pull electrons out of the pie pan. The pie pan is now positively charged. When the rim of the pie pan touches the straw, it pulls electrons out of the straw and out of the inner foil. That makes the inner foil positive. That positively charged inner foil will attract electrons from my body to the outer foil to make the outer foil negative. If I do this many, many, many times, I continually pull more and more electrons out of the inner foil each time. That makes the outer foil become more and more negatively charged as it pulls electrons in. As long as you don't connect the inner positive to the outer negative, you don't get shocked. But if you touch the outer foil and the inner foil by the straw at the same time, all of those electrons from the outer foil, the extra ones, go back into the inner foil through your body and you feel quite a pop. I hate getting shocked, but I'm going to do it here for you. I go knuckle to knuckle. Oh, gosh almighty. That was one of the biggest I've ever done. Now, we can also charge them the other way, and I don't think I'm going to demonstrate it again, but if I hold it by the straw, I will pull electrons out of the outer foil, making the outer foil positive, and the inner foil becomes negative. And again, as long as you don't touch the outer and inner at the same time, there is no pain, no one gets shocked. But by pulling electrons out of the outer foil, I've made the outer foil positive. That positively charged outer foil attracts electrons from my body through the straw to the inner foil to make it negative. So the inner foil is negative, the outer foil is positive. We would charge the film canister the same way. If I hold it by the outer foil, then the positively charged pie pan will pull electrons out of the salt water whenever it contacts the paper clip. Pulling electrons out of the salt water makes the salt water positive. That positively charged inner salt water attracts electrons from my body to the outer foil, making it negative. So we have a positive inside and a negative outside. If you touch the two of those together at the same time, you get quite a shock. I'll discharge it with Wow, that was quite a spark. Let's see if this shows up on camera. I'll discharge this one through the scissors. It's hard to touch them at the same time. But hopefully, hopefully it's discharged so that if I touch it, I won't get zapped. 